weekend is nearly upon us, as is the Women's Euros final on Sunday, Molly. Oh, so excited. On Sunday, fans across England will be cheering on the Lionesses. And little did we know that right here at this morning, we have our very own England super fan. Yeah, David Blackmore. D did you think I was going to say David Beckham? Right there? <laughs> David, very, no. very, very nearly. He, he's as good looking as David Beckham. <laughs> he is one of our news reporters. He's been following the Lionesses throughout the whole tournament. Yes, and David is well known in our office for keeping up with his social media posts. He's been documenting his England journey so far. I'm going to have a little peek into it, OK? So here he is at the game against Norway, having a grand time. Very good. Here he is at the quarterfinals. And a brilliant semi-final win against Sweden. He enjoyed himself there. And, of course, he's off to the final this weekend. So we thought, who better to visit England's most patriotic street than our most patriotic of team members? Good morning, David. Tell us whereabouts you are right now. Morning, Molly. Morning, Craig. Yes, I'm in the absolutely named Kirby Estate here in South East London, where, as you can see, the residents have really rallied together again to cheer on Fran Kirby and co as they roar their way all the way to the Women's Euros finals. Now, it's going to be shown on BBC One from 4pm kickoff at 5. Now, it's against Germany. And the Lionesses haven't had, and I'm sorry, guys, to be starting off a negative, they haven't had the best luck against the Germans in recent years. Out of 27 outings, they beat them twice. However, the last time the two plays play together, England won. So, fingers crossed on that side. But England have been in a rich vein of form. They really have, and they've been scoring goals. As you said, Norway, Northern Ireland, Sweden, they've really been pulling out all the stops to get to the final. But here... Just like this, Fran Kirby, this is a beautiful mural here on the estate. They've been doing it now since 2012, putting up the flags to show their support for the English national side. Now, Chris Douse is one of the guys that has been spearheading this. Um, Chris, why do, you, why do you do it every single time for every major tournament? To just get behind the England team, whether it be the women or the men, we just want to show like, we're behind them. No matter win, drew, uh, win, lose or draw, we want them to do their best and hopefully we can inspire them a little bit further to the competition. Yeah, and how great is it you've got Fran Kirby mural on the Kirby estate as well? Uh, we was lucky enough to get Mer Walls down here to do it for us, but I'll tell you what, it's an absolute masterpiece. We're, we're so, uh, this, this, I don't think we can ever beat this now. Yeah, and on Sunday you've got the big screen, haven't you? It's going to be showing the game. You've got barbecue, bouncy castle. It's going to be a real community event. Yep. How is everyone feeling? Do you think we're going to bring it home? It's coming home. I said it before, it's coming home. We're going to win, and it's, we're going, I think we're going to win about 3 1. 3 1, confident. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to do the mural in a sec, but just before we do, I wanted to speak to some of the guys that we've got down here today. So we've got the Woolworth Wanderers under 11s. You've been playing some great football today, and we've got Rosie and Molly here as well. Now, you guys know what it's all about when it comes to this transition in football. Just, yeah. just paint the picture, really, from when you, when you started playing, you know, arguing with boys in the playground <laughs> about where we were to play, to where we are today, which is, you know, we went to the Manchester game, yeah. 70,000 people in there. I mean, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's uncomparable, and I think having lived and played through the trans transition of women's football that we're seeing today is absolutely amazing. I think for us, if you even try and compare the exposure back then to how it is now, you can't. Like, right now, girls, you'll probably agree with me, yeah. you can't turn on your telly or walk down a road without seeing a lioness on a yeah. billboard or an advert. It's unreal. And that's what we want to see. And off the back of that exposure, record-breaking crowds, record-breaking attendances, and that is the point of the game. And, listen, numbers speak for themselves. Women's football is definitely here to stay. Yeah, and Ro Rosie, for you, what do you think the impact's going to be, like, today, tomorrow? And, you know, for these girls, it's going to be another 10 years, maybe, before they start breaking through into, like, the professional game. Yeah, definitely. Listen, I think the impact has been the fact that the stigma has changed around the women's game. Right? And I think that's so, so important, and we have the Euros to thank for that. These young girls now have clear, visible role models to look up to. So if you want to go on to be professional footballers, there's a clear pathway to take, and I think that's so important. And then I just think about it's about building on this momentum that we've created and taking it forward. That's what it's about. And you both, Molly, you've been involved in training the next generation. <laughs> um, have you seen a real big surge of people coming forward to wanted to interest in playing? Yeah, no, I mean, we own our own football academy called Level 7 Academy, and that's a real passion project for us. It's really important that we continue to leave a legacy for aspiring young girls like these ones standing around us. And the influx we've had since the Euros has been phenomenal, and I hope that for other organisations and academies out there, it's the same. Yeah, and Jasmine, <laughs> coming to you now, who is your favourite England player? Fran Kirby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and why is she your favourite? Because she's very inspiring and she's good at football and she's very kind. Yeah, you talk about inspiring. You were saying a bit earlier. Is it inspiring for you to see the uh, the lionesses on the screen and seeing them everywhere you go? Definitely, because sometimes what 
girls or women get un misunderstood when it comes to football, and it's nice to have people to look up to. And I'm sure you have to argue with the boys about whether you can play football or not, right? <laughs> yeah, that definitely needs to change. Right, let's go and unveil this mural now. So, and we've got Shauna Brownes, she's England rugby player. She's over there to help us. She's popped down this morning, which is great to see. Um, are we ready, guys? Yep. We're going to have to do a countdown from 10. Plenty of energy. Go on, count us down, girls. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks, David. Thanks so much. Have you told them about the asparagus? Right, that is... That is it's been what we've been talking about all morning, I have to be said. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Chris. Dave, sorry, mate. OK. Sorry, Stephen. As is with tradition, every time someone from this morning comes down to the Kirby estate, you don't go away empty-handed. <laughs> so this is especially for you and the team. Oh, look just at that. Just to say thank you for coming down. Oh, oh so Hopefully some of you will make it back to the studio. I will make sure that I bring some back to the studio, <laughs> but I think there bring are some back. young bring footballers here who probably deserve to <laughs> deserve it as well, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, he'll be eating that on the DLR. There won't be a slice left. <laughs> there won't be a slice left, left, left for <laughs> us. We know that. Do you know what's lovely, Molly? All around the country, there'll be things like that happening yeah. in estates and people's parks and their back gardens. It's a great moment to celebrate sport, yeah. isn't it? It's on just Sunday. bringing yeah. everybody together so much. So exciting. Yeah, it's